guys welcome back so in today's video I'm gonna be doing my right hand um, I only had like two nails so I was like just take them off do you know a new set but in this uh, video I am gonna be doing the Femi Beauty method so for th first things first I am gonna be going in with my cuticle softener and this is the one um, I got. I got this from my from Tulip, my local nail store, and I just you know put it in a small little bottle. But I'm just gonna go in with the cuticle um, softener, and I'm just gonna be putting some around the cuticle area. And I don't have to do much prep because um, I had done my nails like a week ago. I want to say, but I wanted something different. So yeah, once. I rub everything in I am gonna be going in with my cuticle pusher and I'm gonna be pushing back all the cuticles so once I'm done pushing back the cuticles I am gonna go in with this small cuticle drill bit and this is like more of a cone um, drill bit I don't know who gave me this honestly like I don't even know where I got this from but I know a friend gave it to me like it, it came with like a bunch of other like little um, drill bits but yeah <laughs> If you guys know the name of this, or I mean, I'm sure I can Google it, but I just, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm lazy. <laughs> but yeah, um, I go in with this round cuticle drill bit, and then I'm just gonna go in around like the cuticle area, and then I'm just gonna make sure that like all that gunk right there that you see, you know, like it's off that way, you know, my cuticle area is nice and clean. Next, I'm going to go in with my fine grit sanding pan and I'm just going to, you know, go in slowly and just remove the shine off all of my nails. Um, you don't have to use a coarse uh, sanding pan, just like I said, a fine grit one will do the job. So next, I'm going to go in with this uh, base coat and it's to help like the nails, you know, like with the strength and all that. So I'm just going to be putting a thin layer on all five nails. And so once that's dried, I am going to go in with some cuticle oil and I'm just putting a little bit and this is going to be for my peel off base coat. And then um, I just rub it in and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with some top coat. So since I am doing the Femi Beauty method, um, I do need full cover tips. So I'm going in with my uh, press-ons from Tulip and these are the Square XXL and you can go on their website I will leave the description or um, the information down in the description but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and size these out and honestly I love these tips because they're like really strong like I just did some when I went to Seattle and honestly like they were sturdy they lasted and yeah <laughs> so um next i'm gonna go in with this glitter i'm just taking out everything that i need um i'm gonna be use this is from birds of paradise and then um i'm also gonna be using this glitter i believe this is from mccart so i'm gonna be using this little like turquoise bluish color and then this darker blue and then I'm gonna be mixing it up together. So then once I do that, I'm gonna go in with some base coat and um, I'm gonna start, you know, like applying like the, the design. So I'm gonna go in with some hearts and then also um, gonna be putting some glitter, like just putting it all around. Um, I am sorry, like I didn't get much footage cause I was watching TV and so like I was kind of sitting back <laughs> and yeah but um, I try to get as much footage as I could I'm really sorry but yeah, I'm just gonna be um, you know placing these hearts in random places I did want like more hearts like towards like the my nail bed like the cuticle area so um, I just put like a bunch of, of them in there and then I also put some of the um, the glitter and like the big chunky glitter and then for like i did that for my pinky and my middle finger <laughs> So 
I did forget to mention, um, I did cure like when I f did the, the hearts and stuff and then I put a layer of clear poly gel and then I just slowly put it on my nail and I just like press it down and then whatever comes out of like the sides, like around the cuticle area from me like fixing it, um, I do go in with my brush and you know, I just clean it all around that way like it, it's not like sticking out you know and like it doesn't cost lifting and then I also like turn over my nail and then I just carefully um like clean like under the nail so once that's cured I'm moving on with the rest of the nails and again I'm sorry I know there's not a lot of like footage or like <laughs> video of me doing this uh, like this nail set and I really do apologize um but for my middle finger, my pointer finger, and my thumb, they're all gonna be the same. Um, it's gonna be like with chunky glitter, like the big ones from the Birds of Paradise, and then like the small fine glitter, and that's just gonna be those three nails. And then the middle finger and the th uh, pinky, they're gonna be with like hearts and the glitter. So at first I was putting base coat and then like putting the like the glitters and all that stuff and then um but I think by my middle finger I realized like I could just use you know clear poly gel and then put the stuff in there and then you know put it on my nail like yeah I know I'm telling you guys like when I don't know what I'm doing I'm telling you guys like I really don't know what I'm doing until like I start each nail <laughs> So I wanted to see like if you guys like my new intro like can you guys guess what my favorite color is yet <laughs> but yeah no I hope you guys um like it and yeah I hope you guys like this video also and yeah like um let me know what you guys are gonna do for Valentine's Day I would really love to hear you know your guys' plans um we don't know what we're doing yet we usually just like you know just go with the flow but yeah let me know what you guys are gonna do i'd love to hear down below in the comments what you guys are gonna do So once I have applied um, all the nails and I have cured, I am going to go in with my nail file and I'm just going to be reshaping the nails. I honestly didn't take long to reshape and usually like reshaping is what takes me the longest and because I want to get that perfect um, shape. But since I have the tips, um, it, it was easier. I did... Um, use like my fine grit sanding band and I just used it to like buff out the top of my nail I am very messy like when I work I yeah like that's one thing I want to try to work on like trying to be less messy but um yeah like so like you know how like poly gel leaves that like weird sticky layer so every time I would go cure like it it um would stick and just yeah so I just wanted to have like a nice clean um like nail i know femi she doesn't like i've seen her do it and she's like oh my gosh she's like a beast dude like honestly i want to be at her level and there's like other people that i've watched too and like just watch like i don't know but yeah seeing her do this method like i don't know and i just wanted to do something i i hardly ever do my right hand and when i do i do them little because like i cannot do long nails like i could barely do a like little ones like like the small ones you know when I do my right hand so I want to um I wanted something longer if that makes sense so yeah I figured this method would work and it honestly did oh I also um 
use my sanding band to like go in the bottom like to create that seed curve because like with the poly gel it did kind of mess it up so i did go in with the fine grit sanding band and you know just kind of slowly removed it <laughs> So I didn't realize that my phone wasn't um, plugged in, so it died, but I had done just like rhinestones on the thumb and on the ring finger, and I just did it around the cuticle area, and then for the rest of the nails, I am going to be putting top coat, and for my index finger, like, I... Okay, so I don't, I can't work with my right hand like I've learned with my left hand. It, it's hard. Um, so I did try to do something different. I was trying to do like XOs, but it wasn't coming out. So I whopped it off and then I just ended up doing like a big XO down the middle. And then the rest of the nails, I just left as is. I did also um, put glitter, but it didn't look right. So I just ended up putting like black gel polish again like I just went over it because I didn't want to like buff it out and then like redo it you know so I just put like black over it and I think it actually <laughs> came out better because now it's like black but it has like a little bit of glitter like it has that like just a tiny bit but you could notice it so it makes it even more better so yeah I just kept it as is Next, I'm going to go in with some cuticle oil, and this cuticle oil is from Oso oh Bougie. Make sure you guys go check out her Instagram. I will be leaving her Instagram in the descriptions, so please make sure to check her out. And this is how the nails look. I know, like, my pinky has a mind of its own, so I have to, like, push it, but yeah, this is how they look. Let me know what you guys think think down below if you guys have like any suggestions i'm open to it make sure to check out my instagram too that's where um i usually post about my nails um but yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye